What are the challenges for freelance instructional designers who specialize in developing their own e-learning products is uh, being able to share your e-learning prototypes with your stakeholders and your subject matter experts. I rely quite a bit on the Amazon Web Services or AWS, if you will. And I'm going to walk you guys through creating a new Amazon AWS account and uploading some content so that you can share using that web server. So first of all, let's go to https colon slash slash aws.amazon.com. Now I already have an account, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign into the console and instead of using my regular login, I'm going to uh, actually sign in to a different account. And here I'm going to take the opportunity to create a new AWS account. So at this point here, I'm just going to use one of my alternate backup email addresses that I don't frequently use. I'm going to choose a password that will be difficult to guess. And I'm going to hit continue at this point here. Um, probably a good idea to save it in your um, password saving software, whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, so this is uh, a personal account for me. Uh, you could choose professional as well. I think personal is fine. I'm just going to use my phone number here. And I happen to be in Canada, but you could select, uh, of course, the uh, United States or whatever country you happen to be in. And I'm just going to put in my address, my postal code, confirm that I've read the uh, agreement, the terms and the agreement, and I agree to them. And then I'm just going to click on create here. Now you do have to provide a credit card number and an expiration date. Uh, the reason for this is that after 12 months, you're going to be billed for any bandwidth usage. And uh, trust me on this, if you share projects the way I share projects, uh, typical invoicing might be a couple of pennies. Uh, my total expenses for my Amazon AWS server in my second year was probably less than $5. It was probably even less than $3. So I'm going to input in my credit card here, my expiration date, cardholder's name, and we'll continue from there. Uh, of course, the security check here, so I'm just going to enter in these numbers to make sure that, that I can let them know that I'm not a robot. I'm about to get a call. And they're just confirming my phone number. And I just need to type in this code on my touch tone keys on my phone. And now I've successfully been verified and I can hit continue. And I'm going to simply choose the free plan at this point. And now I'm going to sign into the console. So we're going to type in the email address that I associated this new account with and enter in the password I set just a few moments ago. So now what I can do is I can visit the S3 service. This is the web server uh, service from Amazon AWS. And when you log into that, the first thing you need to do is create a bucket. And think of a bucket as a place where you put your stuff. So I'm going to create a bucket. We're going to call this prototypes. And uh, I can choose the region. I think it probably makes sense to choose 
whatever makes sense for you locally. Um, and I can't obviously copy any settings from an existing bucket. So we'll just have to go next. And I suspected this might be a problem. You need to choose a bucket name that hasn't been used before. So I'm going to call this Paul's Prototypes. Hopefully that hasn't been... Nope, oh, that already exists. Let's try this. Captivate Teacher bucket name. There we go. So I'm just going to go with the default of having everything unchecked and we'll just go with next. User ID, read, write, so on, so forth, so on. And um, I'm just, again, going to go with the defaults here and create the bucket. So now that I have my bucket, I can click on Captivate Teacher and I can choose to upload an object. So I'm going to click on Upload. I've already have an example published project that I'm going to upload to it. I'm just going to use this uh, uh, project that's been published to a folder. And I'm just going to drag it right into my browser window here. And you'll see um, just this upload status window. And it doesn't start uploading right away because you may wish to upload additional projects. I'm going to choose Upload at this point. And you'll see the progress bar along the bottom here. So once you've uploaded the folder, you'll see it, of course, in your bucket. You can select it, and under the Actions menu, you can select Make Public. And this will, uh, you'll see a little warning here along the bottom, and it's just letting you know that you're making this folder public. And once you do that, you can click on this. Select the index.html row, and you can test out the link to that particular project. And there we go. It runs the particular e-learning course. So now all you need to do is copy this particular link that came from your Amazon S3 server, and you can share that with all of your stakeholders and subject matter experts. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at PaulWilsonLD, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.